afternoon. Welcome aboard Margu Campaign. Thanks for coming. A uh, little note of interest here. This is show 500. Uh, 500 of these. I don't know why you guys are listening, but... Uh, do the wave. Do the wave. Everybody do the wave. Uh, so thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Uh, and it's fitting that uh, these are the guys that... Uh, I started with uh, back on a different channel. So uh, always fun. <laughs> Geekspiel was uh, a great learning environment for me. So I thank them. Uh, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, &D, join our Discord. If you want to buy some cool crap like a phone case, T-shirt, jersey whatever uh the link is down there uh if you are in the mood to get some math rocks new math rocks customized math rocks go on over to twitter uh at pirate dog dice on twitter see if they got the time the inclination or the desire to go ahead and make some rocks for you right now they are in the middle of making david some homer simpson donut dice and then they have Ooh. carol's weird tentacle life dice but you know See if they got the time. Maybe they will. And if your game stinks unlike ours, ours smells like success. Well, not Margu so much. Uh, hey, hey, uh, hey. But check out some adventure scents at oddfishgames.com. They have over 60 uh, different scents for your nasal pleasure. They also make something called the Shine System. So if you want to write like Stephen King and me, I think that's how you say that properly, uh, just right gooder than us uh, using their shine systems. So check that out. Folks, this is Margu A-Side, number 57 uh, out of the 500. Uh, and these guys are still in Chasm Peaks. We will go ahead and get to the recap here in a minute. First, let's introduce you to our beloved cast. We will start uh, as Norm with the senior member. Who are you and who are you playing? I am senior Frank, old Frank, but I play Leaf. The very caring druid. Ah, uh, <laughs> very caring, you say. <laughs> yes, that's it. That's interesting. Uh, sure, we'll go with that. Uh, next up, Jason. Who are you? Who are you playing? I am playing Copious Full Bitters the Third, the entrepreneur and part-time witch who has been wrongly accused of many, many crimes. Geister wrongly accused wrongly yes. wrongly uh, accused the ever verbose nicholas is up next nick who are you who are you playing i play haggis craps <laughs> i am cold max max stabber well, <laughs> <laughs> well he is a gnome uh um, oh, halfling <laughs> halfling. Oh, halfling you're the gnome I'm the gnome. That's right. I don't know why that's so. And you know what? I screw up Carrie's character too all the time. It's like, oh yeah, she's a gnome. No, she's a halfling. I don't know. It's well, what's the hell's the difference? Took the when time I'm, to know us. Gnome got a bigger nose. You I, know. I, I don't need to know you guys. I know what's going to happen in your future. So that's <laughs> all that matters. Uh, next up, Middle Frank. Same question, different answers. I am playing Robert of Zeppelin. I'm a hell of a guy. I'm a party animal. I like strange women and a good pack of cigarettes. Arsonist. Wow. Oh, yeah, I do like to burn shit. So. I, I think out of 57 episodes, we are all really aware that you like to burn shit. <laughs> burn it all. Uh, last but certainly not least, currently our youngest murder hobo today. Uh, he's been with us since the beginning. Noodle, who do you play? Uh, uh, back to Noodle, are we? Uh, <laughs> I am Man Fang, the smartest and the best out of all the people we have here today. I am a dragonborn fighter slash barbarian slash entrepreneur Genius. slash everything you can imagine. Genius. Genius, yes. Sure, we'll go with genius. Peacemaker, <laughs> investigator, uh, beloved member of many, many communities, and detective. Wait, I and I, if I'm not mistaken, he rides behind someone in a gang, right? Correct. He's got a facial tattoo. We forgot about that and we reminded of that. Yeah, he's got a facial tattoo and a scar. And a scar. So yeah, he's all marked up. He's pockmarked, folks. This is the Margu campaign. These guys have been down in Chasm Peaks. Uh, think grand canyon only deeper for uh 
this is going to be the start of day 10. These guys have been down here looking for the assumed dragon's horde because they did indeed successfully kill a red dragon uh, that was set to be located in this chasm. They've spent the last 10 days meeting new people, visiting strange lands, and killing occupants. Uh, also, um, extorting some of the occupants, one of which is not here. Uh, these five individuals are going to go ahead and maybe get out of the Chasm Peaks tonight. Maybe not. We shall see. Last week, uh, they found a merchant ship. They found an entrance to the ocean, uh, and they found a anchored merchant ship, which... <clears throat> How shall I put this delicately? Some of them wished to go ahead and partake in some kindness. Others opted to just partake. Uh, after blowing the captain out of her quarters, the presumed dead captain has not been found, nor has his body been recovered. These saints, saints among men, halflings and gnomes, uh, gave the Lady Jane back to what was left of her crew that wasn't knifed by Haggis Crapstain. Uh, <laughs> like one guy. <laughs> <laughs> Am I wrong? Oh. No. no. Yeah, <laughs> argument here. Yeah, no, I, 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 you still killed somebody. Uh, they have taken liberties with the longboat, uh, launched it, and are headed back towards the mountain. So, as we begin, the big question is, are you guys going back to the point where you saw the merchant ship in that cave or are you going to try and look for alternative measures to go ahead and get up to the top it's up to you just just clear all of us are in the longboat at this point all the yeah. members of the party all members yeah. of the party and the bag of holding containing most of Manfang's belongings i believe are yep. with them well, I, I think when we, when we last spoke, our, our primary objective is to get to the top and try to get back to the whatever's left of our zonkeys. That, yes. that is what I believe. But the question is, do you go back to where you found the ship or do you look for an alternative means? Uh, we know there's no way to get up there. We need to go look for an alternative way to get up. Well, well, we, we had discussed a lot. Number one, I, I do have a potion of flying, so I could fly up with a rope potentially. I can climb up with a rope. You you can climb up with the spider climb, and so um, is it. Uh, is there enough light that we can see the top of the peak? Oh point? yeah, you're, you are outside the caverns right okay. now. However, how high? However, how high? About five hundred feet. Yeah, and, that ain't gonna freaking happen. And it's night. <laughs> That's that was <clears throat> just, just so, after midnight on day ten. Well. <clears throat> Do we know, can any of us intuit which direction, uh, you know, we, I assume we were running exactly perpendicular to the shoreline coming through the caverns, which direction we need to go to be in line with where we started from with the cavern, I will, south or north? I will take a, your logic is flawed. <laughs> but I will take one person oh, throwing survival. I don't care who it is. I got a Wait, plus. Eight. I got a plus eight. Here's his not nat one. Thing. Here's his first nat one of the. the oh, it night. probably will be. No, come on now, don't do that. Oh, that is a natural twenty. That gives me a twenty-eight. Uh, the druid knows exactly where you guys are at. You are. We're uh, in the ocean. You appear to be <laughs> on the northwest end, so you're in Portland, Oregon, for the most part. And you need to get to Florida. Florida. You need to get to Idaho. <laughs> That's close. All right. So, so can Leaf can orient the longboat to put us along the shore towards the direction we're supposed to be going. Yeah, we, we well, we need to follow it to the east. Well, so that, I guess my, in that easterly direction. So my point would be that if we have to look for a way to get up. Do we start by going the direction we think we need to go so we're not backtracking? Worst case is we don't find a way up this direction. We have to go back anyways. Well, let me ask you this. How far – we know, you know, when we turn to come out through this cave, uh -huh. okay, how far had we gone from that crossroads that had the broken bridge and that led the way up out of there? Half day. And 
how half day mm -hmm. and is that half day going to be more than what it's going to take us to row a freaking boat or along this shore open we find a way up would it not make more <clears throat> sense to go back that way with your natural 20 you can surmise unless you investigate high enough and find peaks zigzagging their way up the mountain the surest way is your original starting point that open cove and that is your professional opinion okay that's my professional opinion mm -hmm. to illustrate this <coughs> And I'm paused, so I'm going to stop it again because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I am also the producer today, so <clears throat> let us go ahead and show you exactly where you are at using love. You're here. <laughs> okay. Actually, Man, actually, you know what? I stand corrected. You are here. I was going to say, we shouldn't have been that close to smidges. Yeah. Well, uh, and... Man. Yeah, so, <clears throat> realistically speaking, returning to that small cove where... Uh, where the cavern is? Yeah, where some genius who broke the ceiling was at, that's probably your best bet. Yeah. Um, so it's just my, my opinion, but I think if we're going to get back in time for you to pay your taxes, we need to go back that way. Are that's we a, going, that's yeah. known. This is unknown. So are we going back that way and then going back through the the, the chasm? Back through back. the back through the back through the cavern to the crossroads and then take the what was it southerly route that leads to the broken bridge because we know we can get across that bridge. Yeah, that sister. And that, that leads. Bias, a, they told us Waterman. that leads the way out. Sister, I what's have. your name? Told us that right. Yeah. Uh, no, the knight did. The knight did. And, and the that, sister, that, actually. The yeah. sister told you that if you hung a left, that's how they came down because they could not cross the gap. You guys have decided using flight, magic, whatever, can make that leap. Yeah. All right. I'm game. I, I'm a self-hating forest gnome who wants back in a city and out of this cavern, so I'll follow leaf whatever guidance is. <laughs> Robert, <coughs> I'm up for it. All right. Now the next question is: since this is after midnight, do after you want midnight. to rest? Yeah. In the boat. At I least half so. a, half hour or half a day. Do we uh, have an anchor or a way to tie this boat to something? Well, if you guys are coming back the way you we'll did, rest in the cavern. Couldn't it's, we? it's in sight. Okay. Yeah, you are not very far off your shore. Uh -uh. Okay. <laughs> I'm just sitting there like, I'm not sleeping in a boat and ended up in freaking some... Amazon monster. land? <laughs> Amazon <laughs> land with spears on your throat. I didn't use a lot of power last night, but I still want to get it back. I don't want to be exhausted the next day. Absolutely I not. I have no health that I want so to get back. Let's, let's go so ahead and sack out. And Faye still has no equipment uh, equipped. It. Yeah. Okay, so you're next to nothing, me. Say again. Huh? What? What'd you say? I couldn't hear you. I thought we threw Man Thing's crap in the boat. Uh, in the bag of holding. I, I put it in, in my bag. It's in my bag, man. What's in your bag, man? So to be clear, nothing. you're making as sure Man Thing knows. Landed, yes. landed where you picked up Robert yep. and the Drow, camping yep. there, yep. heading out in four hours. Four or it, all night. Your choice. So, uh, and just to be clear, the cavern we've landed in is the one that had an entire army of uh, stalactites dropping on Robert's head. Correct. Yeah. Okay. So I think the drow stands watch the whole night. <laughs> the drow and the AJ. Uh, AJ can't do it. He's human. The drow is a uh, fey creature, so she only needs four hours of rest. So Okay. That, and that's fair. Uh, you that's can do fair. That. Works for me. Then we'll make it the whole night, Tim. Uh, you guys 
land and much to your happiness uh, Robert of Zeppelin has provided you a safe haven as the Piercer colony has moved off to greener pastures uh, you guys will sleep um, anywhere from six to eight hours your choice get up feeling quite refreshed on day 10 realizing that tick tock tick tock is going on uh and head back the way you came I yes assume. Okay. retrace our tra tracks uh you come to the y in the road where if yep. you continue to go straight you will go to where man fang spit acid into the air elemental left is how you originally got here so I we'll go left left uh you go uh d4 leaf okay this might, uh, let me find it. one one hour later because you guys are humping it uh you find the road you did not take or make and continue okay the and that's road, the one the, they the, said had a broken bridge no, uh, going straight is the road that you've taken before, and it starts the incline. The road to the left, you guys bypassed. You have no, no idea what's down there. No, we want. We don't want to take it now. We're out of what, time. What dragon's treasure? Yeah, that that's probably where it's at. You know, I'll go down there. Don't you know? Tempt me not, boys. Hey, go down like, for an, take take like an hour and run down there and see what you see, Leaf, and then all right, uh, an hour and then an hour back or thirty yeah, minutes. Two hours. Yeah. Uh, is that what you want to do, Leaf? How long is my? Uh... Give me a second here. So you're gonna How send him to my... see the dragon's mate alone. <laughs> Leaf the briquette. Oh, okay. I'm gonna turn into uh, something fast. Uh, Man Fang's mouth. Oh no. <laughs> That's just so disgusting. I've seen what he eats and how he eats. Yes. Uh, well, that big big cut in the side of his face, and the food runs out. And it's, ah. He looks like the Joker, the Heath Ledger Joker. I'll turn into a cheetah or something and, and take off down the trail. Uh, give me a D4. Two. And how long did you want to run? Hour down, I guess, and an hour back. So hour down. 30 minutes into it, uh, you come upon a very large plateau give me a percentage roll please man you slip that in there and i have to stop and think of what dice is that yep give it 2d10 baby uh you know i'm at 25 not bad uh you come to a sign that says uh thou shalt not enter courtesy of the union boys Oh, that just means I gotta go down okay, there. Okay, I'm definitely going in there. Uh, you observe two dead guards, uh, okay. some kind of slashing uh, damage, uh, hmm. and there's a lot of treasure here. Uh -huh. It smells. I meant of dragon. Uh oh. Little but these two guards. Treasure? Wait a minute. Now hang on a minute. Now these two guards have had some slashing damage. And I'm dead. wondering if where yeah. we keep thinking dragon horde, maybe that D ain't supposed to be on there. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm gonna scout around a little bit in in my my cat form stealthily. I don't know what my stealth would be, but it ought to be pretty good. So you're gonna find the two dead bodies. Yeah. A lot of red dragon scales from molting. Okay. Uh, piles of coins, uh, gold, silver, and copper, some gems, uh, and there'll be a chance. Go ahead and percentage dice against me, please. <clears throat> All right. Uh, 32. This ain't rolling real good. 50 on the nose, five zero and a zero. Uh, so some items but none of them look magical. Uh, but okay. you've been gone only a half hour, so the advantage is there. You are alone. You do not see 
any aggressors. So, uh, and how big is this plateau? It's Large big. Or? It's it's like it, the dragon, dragon doesn't boat. live in a cave. It lives on this plateau. So okay. there's going to be, uh, you know, bones <clears throat> of different things uh, and stuff. It also looks like there's been a camp here, like a, okay. a human camp, like somebody's beaten you to it, i.e. taken about 25% of the shit out. I'm going to switch back to my human form. Okay. How much does my bag of holding hold? Or was it like 500 pounds or something? I think it's 500 pounds. And you've I'm going to load all it man with fang shit. <laughs> mm. oh, he, off he, he, he put did you did you put your armor on? You didn't put your armor on, did you? I think Haggis mentioned this before you You're left. Muted, Frankie. I didn't mention that. Did you put your armor on? You're still muted, son. Unmute it. Click the mute button. The love of a father is eternal. It's on your screen, buddy. Ah, my mute button. There you oh, go. Right, that is it. <laughs> did you put your armor on? I think I did, yeah. I'm pretty sure I did. Okay, so I don't have his armor. Well, oh, that big-ass shell. Uh, that thing would have been left behind. I wouldn't have... I want to load my bag up okay. with, uh, I guess, gems to start with. Okay. Where we scrounge up, that'd be the lightest thing with the most value, I would say. Give me a D4, please. <clears throat> Let me roll this fancy one. Yeah, that didn't help. One. Good news. In 15 minutes, you found most of the gems. Oh. So All now right. you're 45 minutes away from the party. Okay. And how much, uh, <coughs> and the rest of this is like gold? Gold, stuff. silver, and copper. Uh, <laughs> a variety of different uh, currencies. Uh, most, obviously, halfling. Some you do not recognize, probably pilfered from a pirate ship or something of that nature. Uh, the exact ones. But yeah. I'll finish it off. Finish off. I don't see it. No armor or anything like that, though. Uh, not I can't wear these, it anyway. The so. slashed version of the uh, dudes. Just money. Okay. So, so you surmise that the Union Darn. boys have picked out most of the ripe treasure. Yeah. I'll finish off loading up with some gold coins in there. I don't want to overload my bag because I know what happens. Yep. But And then I'm going to convert back again and head back. So you want me to roll a die four again? Nope. I know what you got. All right. Uh, and you know where you're going. So, yep. uh, hour and 15 mark, uh, leaf. The Druid returns to you guys as you are playing tiddlywinks in his cheetah form. Uh, do you change out of cheetara and, uh, oh, absolutely. So I can tell him that I found the treasure and turned around. It came right back. No fucker. Dude, that was coming. Hey, I'm, I'm impressed you even told us you found the treasure. Ditto. Yeah. <laughs> I'll show him what I. I'll show him what I got. Uh, doesn't he, doesn't mean that much to me. He managed to get four thousand gold pieces, and twenty seven hundred gold pieces worth of gems. So he made quite the haul. Uh, are you gonna tell him about the Union Boys? Yes, there was two guards there that had, had been slashed up or dead, but it looked like there had been a camp there, too. So I'm thinking that they found that earlier on. So somewhere there's a bunch of them hauling shit out of here. Can I speak for uh, Felix real quick? Sure. Yeah. Well, I, th I think we need to find the, Felix, the, the uh, Union boys and take them out. <laughs> Why did the Union boys sound familiar? That sounds familiar. We like ran we, into them when we first came into the Chasms. That's what it was. That was right? one of the groups we saw, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bunch well. of thugs. He called them <laughs> Union Boys. Wow. Bunch of thugs. Hello, Mr. Pot. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> Let's ask those gnome archers. Uh, we can't ask him. You guys killed yeah. them all. Yeah. But hey, it takes, it takes one to know one. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so... Uh, it's only cost you an hour and 15 minutes, which is a huge boon for you guys. I, I cannot tell you how big that one is. 
uh, I, I feel like the dragon could return at any moment, but uh, for the group's sake, do you want to run down and put some stuff in your pockets before we come back and try to get across the bridge? You want uh, some travel? Uh, if he's collected as much as he has, do we really want to run the risk? And Our he luck was a cheetah. <laughs> I, a cheetah just... runs 60 miles an hour. But in short bursts. In but, short bursts. But still. You're not, a, you're not a marathon runner there, Cheetara. <laughs> no, but the cheetahs, they they can maintain a pace about 35 for a long period of time. All right, take it. Listen. You guys want to head down there? I'm, I'm fine it's, with that. It's up to uh, you. Did you did you check to see if there's anything of uh, particular value? Uh, I didn't anything see anything else value? that mattered. It was all gold, silver coins, gold coins, copper coins. Did you do a detect magic on it? I did not. <clears throat> no, he did not. <laughs> so I, I, this is, boy, you know, I, there's a roadhouse and then there's, there's money in the fist. There's a whole village that you build. So there's. All right, let's go. I'll, I'll show you where it's at. All right. Let, you guys, I, Robert, where, my Robert, what do you think? all this waffling around is like working with a bunch of women. Let's go. If that's what you want to do, we can go. I can be convinced otherwise. I, you know, we can always uh, try to. <clears throat> I'll head back down the trail, show them where it's at. Well, uh, do follow. Double time, boys. You're in the military now. All right. I'll run down there. <laughs> it's going to take them twice as long, so two hours. Two hours to get down. That's just extended us five. And here it all is. Hours. You're right around noon on day 10. Uh, and you and got... now that, now that uh, you know, Copius has put the idea in my head, the first thing I'm going to do when I get there is cast Detect oh. Magic. Well, yeah, I was I, gonna do. <laughs> yeah, I was going to do the same thing. I have it as an evoc uh, one of my evocations. I don't even have to use a spell slot for it. You guys have arrived. It's right around noon on day 10. Uh, much to Leaf's, uh, much to your surprise, Leaf has told you the truth. There is a sign that says, keep out the Union boys. There are two dead guards. There's uh, old carcasses, uh, old uh, red dragon scales, uh, stinks like dragon. Uh, just just a lot of coins everywhere. Uh, you still see a few jewels uh, that Leaf didn't feel was that important to grab. Uh, he mainly went for good size ones, but you, you can see a few small agates and uh, lapis, maybe some jasper, things of that nature. Uh, oh, my precious. Yeah, this is on a large plateau. So the dragon had no air cover whatsoever. Uh, this is just a landing spot for it. A uh, lot of stuff in here. Leaf and Copious, I assume you're going to go ahead and cast Detect Magic? Yep. yep. Both of you, D20. Identify it. Identify 18. magical 19. items, but does it detect them? <clears throat> Both of you find stuff. Uh, Leaf, give me a D8. Copious, give me a D6. Uh, seven. Five. Leaf, you find a wooden box with eight potion bottles. One of them is broken. <coughs> Three of them are blue. One is a dark blue. One is a red. Uh, and two are green. Uh, Copious, you had five. Is that what you said? Five, yep. Uh, roll me a d4. I'm getting to use all my weird dice. Uh, one. First level spell, roll me a d4. Two. Second level, roll me a d4. Four. Fourth level, roll me a four. Four. Ooh. And one last roll. Of a d4 again? Yep. Three. You have found yourself uh, the first, the fourth, the fourth, and the third are mage spells. I will let you pick at random. Second level spell is a cleric spell. All, all are individual scrolls. 
They are tucked away in a jade scroll case buried underneath a crap load of copper coins. The jade scroll case is worth 45 gold pieces on the open market. It's just like playing Old Wheel Fortune. So you guys have seven potions? Hey, man thing, lick this and see what it is. The green one, ah. I hope. I'll do it. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, no, I, I'm just kidding. I won't let you do that. We'll find out what they are. No, I'll do it now. No, there might be something here that'll raise your intelligence. <laughs> exactly. That there, got I taken cast, already. I can cast That's called identify. a wish spell. <clears throat> I have identify, so I can tell you what they are. Oh. Robert? You have uh, the three light blue are healing. The dark blue is extra healing. The red is levitation, and the two green are water breathing. Hey, Robert, I have this wooden case. Can you tell me what, what this is? It's, it's the case I pulled from the ship. All right. Just throwing out another spell. Oh, sorry. Got to <coughs> cast magical. Uh-uh. You what? I rolled a four. Oh. It's a magic on a camp truck. Two. Okay. Second roll. I got to cast it again. Three. Four. Three. <laughs> All right. So I'm, I, I got to touch your case. Let me have it. Hey, hey, hands hey. above the waistline, sunshine. That's not my case, but I appreciate the offer. Sorry, and my beer fits. Well. Uh, this case is rather unique. Uh, it's called Evard's case, and what it does is, wherever it goes, it creates a map of where you've been, so you do not get lost. It does Wait. not randomly call it forth like your other case, but when you reach inside, you get a sheaf of papers with a very good, not perfect, but very good map narrated to the area you have gone. So it will show you the trail, it will show you the natural features, it won't show you what's beyond. So you get about a 300 yard expanse. Not bad. Is it, it does no, not need refills. Good. Does it localize to the person holding the case or to the case itself? Only the case holder has access to the papers. So if you grab Lady Raglan or Captain Raglan, you would have access, she would have access to her maps. Those maps okay. do not appear. So there are no old okay. maps in there. So your map is a blank sheet of paper with an X. Uh, Haggis well, actually, will tell you if you it, grab a hold of way here. Haggis will tell you if you <clears throat> grab a hold of Lady Raglan, she's going to put about 20 holes in your ass. That right, Haggis. I never got hit by her. I just want to find her. That was oh, me who got so stabbed a million times. Oh, is that you, yeah. Man Fang? Man, okay, man my bad. Fang. My the bad. Civ. I have his. I have her knife. <coughs> the mermaid dagger. Merman. Merman dagger. Merman dagger. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, cool. Hey, we do have to wrap this up, but before we start walking away from the treasure. Um, I just want to take a look at, I want two things. I want to gather up some of the red dragon scales, okay. if I can. Yeah. Sure. And then two, I want to take a look at the two bodies. Uh, yeah. and just search yes, the good two idea, bodies. yeah. Uh, One, they two, they look thanks. like regular guardsmen, henchmen types. Uh, the halfling? The Union boys were halflings, I believe. I so, thought they were. So, yeah, I, I will say they're halflings. And can I look at their wounds and see what the age is on their wounds? Uh, less than 12 hours. Less. So they didn't die by the dragon. Nope. Which dragon? Not by the dragon we killed, anyhow. Nope, no. By the, the, the dragon's name. They, they have a pin, UB, Union Boys. Uh, so these guys got here first. Uh, and something was waiting for them, or after the rest of the Union boys left, these guys got attacked. Either way, you cannot figure out, you would not know which it is, but clearly... It, it was a lizard that here. had a little 
blue banana eating gnome on its back. Can I search for tracks? Sure. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of scuffling, uh, but there's not a lot of dust because, you know, when a fat ass dragon gets up, it usually brushes stuff off. Uh, there is only one. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. There are two exits here. One takes you further east, uh, or the one you came in from the southwest. 14. Those those are really the only tracks that you find. The tracks that I think you're looking for go back the way you guys came, and that would be booted feet, dragon trunks, or other heavy weight. I found some tracks. They're in the back of this guy's shorts. You wanted to track those. That guy They're... is Man Fang. <laughs> uh, I'm, just because I'm partial to rings, I'm going to find some of the juiciest rings I can, and I'm going to suggest to everyone, let's get the hell out of here. We're burning, well, daylight. Yep. And I don't want to meet the dragon's mate. So, Copious, since, uh, well, no, Robert, you cast. Uh, Go ahead and roll any die. Odd, you stayed an hour to dig through this shit and identify it. Even, you stayed two. One hour it is. Five hours. Day ten. Uh, Haggis has found the tracks. Same direction you guys came from. So. Now, yep. all of you picked up gold coins. I picked up mainly rings and necklaces because I'm a jewelry whore. I didn't pick up anything. Is there anything on the ground? Piles There's of gold coins. coins. <laughs> I want to pick up some gold coins. Everybody Man roll fang. a D8 and multiply it times 100. That's how much you're going to be able to grab and hold. Because I don't really know what you're carrying at this point in time, so I'll just do it across the board. <clears throat> 600. Clearly, man thing could hair, carry more, but who knows? He might just throw D8, them in the back of his shell. D8 times what? Uh, 100. 100. And Copus, if you're going for the jewelry, that would be the jewelry. Yeah, the value in jewelry that I found, right? Mm -hmm. You don't find a lot of good stuff. So if you got a high number, it's because you got a lot of little stuff. Nope, three. Huh? I rolled a three, so it's that's the amount that we got in gold. Mm -hmm. So if you want to roll a d10, that's how many pieces you got. So d d10 average thirty gold pieces each, plus or minus. You might find an old silver ring that's not worth shit. You might find a gold ring with a stone in it. But everybody is loaded up. You are in hour five uh, of day ten. What would you like to do? Head out back to where we came. Back. Okay. Uh, you guys head back. It takes you two hours to get back to the crossroads, and you are back on track. It's going to take you three hours to get to the left, right, straight. Uh, okay. you, you are now ass deep in time. So it's evening of day 10. Left or straight ahead, you know takes you to the safe Broken route. bridge in it. Now, straight ahead takes you to the safe route. Left takes you to uh, Lord Smedley. Right takes you to the Broken Bridge. Okay, and that was the one they said was was a quicker way out, but the bridge was broken. Correct. Yeah. It, it takes three days, <clears throat> the long way. She doesn't know how long it takes the short way because they couldn't make that crossing. We'll, make, we'll go right then, right? Guys, to, to the broken, broken bridge. bridge. Sure. Yep. We we think. Who wants to do the D four to see how long it takes you to get there? Uh, Manfang. Man Manfang Man Fang's on that. He's on that. Look at it. He wants it. He wants it bad. Yeah. Now he's gonna roll high. Yeah. Yeah. He'll roll he high. Cool die. That's a die four, but look. Oh cool. yeah, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Use a good one. Nice. There you go. One out. Well rolled. Man Fang, as usual, comes through in the clutch. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> he's, he's like ice, ice in the veins. Uh, you guys come to the bridge. Uh, the span is about 120. Clearly, uh, the fat-ass paladin and his crew 
not a snowball's chance in hell. You guys don't have a cart. Uh, also, if Haggis is paying attention, no tracks this way. So the, the Union boys uh, probably did not uh, get across this way. <clears throat> so the tracks at the crossroads all jumbled, have no idea what the hell's going on. So it's 120 feet away. Okay. How yeah. far down to the river? <laughs> you guys have been climbing. Uh, so it's a ways. Okay. It's, it's at least 300 feet into the darkness. Uh, again, you aren't high enough to get the benefit of moonlight or skylight. You're still low. Uh, I believe she said two days from the bridge, three days the long way, correct? Yeah. Okay. So uh, I believe... Copia still has his potion of flying. I do. Uh, um, do you have the 150 feet of rope that takes to span this? I've got 100 feet. Hold on, I gotta look. I I had lots of rope when we started this. I don't remember how much exactly I have left, so I gotta look anyway. We, I don't. So, think... go ahead. No, I, I was gonna say we. I don't know what Leaf had originally. We had this, the silk rope, but we cut it. At one point, we um, cut one of them. Yeah, there were two. I think Felix yeah. still has all his rope. <clears throat> we might be able to tie Felix's rope to what you I've have. Still, I've still got my one silk rope, but I also grabbed that uh, hemp rope that was in that one. So, well, that and that that that, <clears throat> that was my hemp rope. Is that yours? Sorry. Yeah, I had the hemp rope. I had can, hemp rope. can we? Does anyone have a spell that will? Link the two ropes together, or do we have to just trust somebody surviving? I don't know. I well, have magic hands. So well, I can move well, my mend hand over there. Work to mend the, well, that works. It, I, I it would be that, that would be the Boy Scout no? okay. spell of knotting. Yeah, the the men's spell will not work because those are two different pieces of rope. They were never severed themselves. If somebody's making a survival roll to make a knot. Correct. Well, no, that's, to man that's uh, Leaf, because Leaf, had, no, Leaf has a plus eight. I got a plus eight on my survival. Yeah, Go not ahead. man thing. Well, Go you ahead, know Leaf. what I have? I have right. a plus one. Take that. <laughs> All right, I'll not right for man thing. <clears throat> plus one and not, not, not. And this was one rope. You guys are going to cross on one rope. Well, we need we only have foot. Two my ropes hemp rope is only fifty ropes. foot. Yeah, we only have the... 27. I think that'll pass. Yeah, he's he's quite confident that he's knotted this thing and it ain't going anywhere. He's like a sailor. Hey, have... hey, what I do in my time and my business? <laughs> we don't have enough rope to make a second rope, though, right? Correct. Because you left part of your rope on the St. Louis Arch. Yeah. yeah. In case <laughs> you had to go back. You took the one... You left the other just to make sure you could make it back in case you had to go that way. You never know. Okay. So oh, I, I do. I, I've yeah. known the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> so Robert uh, or Leaf, probably one of you should use the flying potion to go to the other side and attach the rope on this side um, with your pythons. Your python. I can do it. Go to the other side. I actually have a levitation potion. Will that? No, twenty feet off the ground. Oh, is that I, it? I have a yeah. flying potion that will get you over there. Okay. Yeah, I don't have any notes on that. It just there's zero me. value in having the gnome fly over there. And I can I can climb down and climb up, but I don't know how long that'll take. A while. Three hundred foot potion. down, three hundred foot up, possibly. Well, yeah, but I can do it. Maybe Who's you can run and jump and grab onto the other side. I'll just fly over. Okay. I got the strength anyway. All right. You you trust Copius has given you the real potion and not one of his bullshit beverages that he's made. Well, let's <laughs> let's do it this way. We'll tie one end of the rope to Copius and the other end of the rope to me. Fair enough. Uh, you get to the other side, whip out your python, whip out small hammer or whatever the hell you do. Uh, give me your survival roll. Oops. 13. <laughs> Robert is certain 
We're ready to go. So here, let's. So <laughs> I have I have a teleportation spell. It doesn't cover 120 feet, but if I start going across the rope and it gives way, I got a shot of teleporting back to the ledge. Sure. <laughs> Are you going Dude. first? <laughs> so I will go first. <laughs> uh, copious. <sighs> and <clears throat> I'm going to watch the rope real well. Uh, it's 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 a little on the bendy side, and he's not a big guy, so it's bendy. But uh, straight up D20, copious. Damn, I can't even use acrobatics. Let's go tight rope that thing. Sixteen. Uh, you get over there. You aren't completely certain that that rope is going to hold anybody heavier than you. Uh, so I, can I call back and they can hear me without a special effort? Oh, yeah. That's only 120 uh, feet. I'm, I'm going to call back and say, boys, we have a problem. I don't. There's no way Man Fang's getting across this rope. Wow. Did you hear that, Man Fang? Yeah, I did hear that. Fat what do you mean? Shaming. Just me? I, I'm fat shaming the lizard man. <laughs> Uh, now, Copius, if you want to take a survival roll, look at this thing. You might be able to ascertain whether or not it's going to hold him or not, instead of just randomly throwing out that the fat ass isn't going to make it. Let's see. Let me add my survival bonus of plus one to my nine. That's Ten. probably okay. Oh, wait, guys. I was wrong. Don't worry about it. It's all right. Come on across. All right, I'll Robert walk did, over. Robert did great. Okay, could could, could I go second instead of Man Fang? <laughs> no, nope, yeah. I, I know I've already started. I'm, I'm nope, halfway nope, across. No, nope. no, Haggis, jump on there first. <laughs> yes, everybody jump on his back. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I That's what you, I heard. <laughs> okay, so uh, Man Fang and Haggis roll for initiative. Winner gets on there first. And then oh, I'll yeah. ask the second person if they're just going to jump on as well. Uh, I got a seven. Seriously? Mm-hmm. A seven. I didn't even really want to roll. So Thirteen. <laughs> uh, Haggis gives you the shove and says, screw you, fat ass. I'm going across. Uh, he starts to end over end. Uh, <laughs> Man Fang, you may uh, take offense at his uh, demeanor and jump on the rope as well. Or you can wait until Haggis gets across. Mm, I won't jump on, but I'll shake it a bit. Awesome. I love that idea. That idea is great. Jesus. Not super violent, right. but like a little bit of a tug. So we get Boy, you better back. have some good rolls going on. <laughs> hey, Haggis. Robert, are you holding the rope from your end even though it's tied down? I'm not exactly holding it, but I'm ready to grab it if need be. <laughs> yeah, because of his lightning fast reflexes. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, okay, Haggis, courtesy of your associate, give me an acrobatics <laughs> check as you realize he's being a oh, dipshit. Yes. <laughs> you shove me out of the way. Robert, you should be singing a song while we're crossing this. Yeah. Love it. Haggis 24. was a party member. 24? Yeah. <laughs> Haggis gets across because he, he feels Man Fang fucking with the rope. Uh, Haggis, you are you got to agree with copious on this this didn't feel taunt okay there was a lot of play in that rope um uh, e even your light halfling body could feel it uh, uh -huh. as, as you get over do you want to do your survival check to see if these two are morons or what man fang the rope is safe <laughs> if he's got to do a check to see if they're morons <laughs> he's killing Hold Perfect. On. Hold on oh, a second, Man on. Fang. Ah. Okay. I, I'm ready. Are you ready to cross? <laughs> I'm ready, baby. I'm ready. Hold, no, hold on. Uh, I might need more this, dice. <laughs> this rope ain't anchored on the other side. You got you just holding it, Frankie? No, it, it's pythoned in. Oh, okay. Not very well. Both sides. I couldn't tell by what you were saying. He got that 13 survival roll. <laughs> I'll tell you what I rolled after this happens. <laughs> the gnome, the uh, thirty pound gnome, and the forty pound halfling crossed with me, and that's that's not a good rope. 
And I wanted to cast Spider Climb on Frank. I can't find it. No, I'll oh, be there fine. it is. No, I don't need it. I'll be fine. I'll go across the road. Yeah, the character sheet. <laughs> Hey, roll up a drow. <laughs> <laughs> you might I'm get better intelligence. <laughs> I'm still going to do it. You. I'm not going to say anything to him. I'm going. I'm just going to touch him. Get your hands off me, old man. <laughs> <laughs> show, yeah. me, show me on the cursed baby doll that Felix has where he touched you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that baby doll. Uh, oh, that's that baby right. doll's right here in my coat pocket. That's right. Uh, okay, man, Fang. Roll your acrobatics at disadvantage. <laughs> uh, yeah. Acrobatics is plus four at disadvantage. Yep. Oh, that's dirty 20. What's the point? That's, uh, oof. Mm. how does a 13 fair on the 13 rope? Uh, just as you get to the end, you feel the wiggle, the python gives way, I'll take a roll from Robert, and a roll from Manfang. Manfang, yours is going to be strength, Robert, yours is going to be dexterity to see if you can catch it, and possibly get pitched over the side. (laughs) 17. He caught it. (laughs) I rolled... A 17, or should I say a 23? The python gives way. Manfang feels it, throws out his hand, and grabs the edge of the cliff just as the python... Robert has a hold of the rope, gets yanked forward a little bit, nearly getting pitched off Braces this his foot on incline. Manfang's face. <laughs> Uh, we yeah, I'm yanking y'all. Ma- Man Fang hanging Whoa. on by one. Oh, uh, forget it. Forget it. Forget it. No, you said it, and you know what? It's going to be posted for eternity. <laughs> and that'll be, uh, that'll be a highlight reel. Uh, 500th episode, baby! <laughs> I just want to be so money. Yank him off. Mm-hmm. Um, I said what I said. So, Copius and Haggis, you see this unfold. Leaf is still on the other side. You can grab one or the other, but not both. There's two of you. So, so, so Copius Copius and Haggis roll any die. Odd, you grab Robert. Even, you grab Manfang. Um, just, let's just be clear. The 30 pound gnome isn't grabbing either. Okay, fair enough. Yes, you are. Grab something. I got an even. Grab this. Grab this. You, you grab Man Fang's hand and brace him. Robert, give me a dexterity check. Or you're going to be George of the Jungle. <laughs> Watch out Eight. for that tree. What is it? Eight. Welcome to the world. Uh, Leaf, you see this unfold, and you see Wait, Robert... I, I do have a question, though. Sure. Uh, how long does that flying potion last? That is a good question. Do you know, Jason? Uh-uh. I didn't look it up. So I assume it's the same as the spell? <clears throat> Probably. Let's look it up. That, that, that actually is a very good question. <laughs> and from I, I, that, was gonna, I, I was ready to give rope. you so much damage. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, I can't look it up. Doesn't show it up. Says ten minutes. <laughs> uh, I think that's a roll, baby. Go ahead and roll a D ten, Robert. Four. Uh, you're like Wild E. Coyote. You drop, still holding the rope, realize, oh shit, I can still fly. Uh, <laughs> you, you drop 50 feet. Jesus. Uh, and then think, 
I drank a potion. Uh, I could have had a V8. Uh, <laughs> and you will yourself up. Uh, As you shat in your pants. <laughs> there, there, there is now yet another marker in, in this chasm. <laughs> you begin your ascent, and at 20 feet away, eh, 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 you are getting slower. Everybody except Copious is yelling, you can do it! As Copious <laughs> is like, I wonder if I can hijack any of these rings somewhere. Uh <laughs> As you get closer, Hagas <laughs> and Manfang have worked together in tandem because that's how special they are. Manfang is now safe. He is on the plateau, the far right, side I'm of the bridge. The, I'm throwing the rope <clears throat> up at him, holding on to it and throwing it up at him. I'm going to hold it like this and say, what do you want me to do with it? Now just you gotta yank it. Catch it, <laughs> catch it first. you got to catch it with a dexterity. <laughs> Catch a damn All roll. right, I'm gonna catch it. <laughs> Maybe I should have thrown it at Hoggins. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll meet up with you guys later next week. Uh, that is a 17. Be confident oh, in me. Oh my god! Uh, Man Fang grabs a hold of it, buries his clawed toes in the stone, uh, and Robert, you come to a screeching halt as you feel the magical essence clear <laughs> out of your body. Uh, the sweat is pouring off of you like Robert Hayes in Airplane <laughs> as you realize you no longer have to go to the bathroom for at least a week. <laughs> uh, Leaf. Pipe to clean. Leaf. I, the you, minute I see him toss that rope mm -hmm. and Manfang grab it, I'm turning into a rat and hauling ass across the rope. Manfang, uh, Robert. There's a rat, Manfang. Run! <laughs> 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 uh, Hoggis, you see Robert clutching at the edge. Robert, give me a strength check. Manfang's holding the rope. Robert's got one hand on the rope, one hand on the ledge, just perspiring. Uh, his shirt is just soaked. The big old and, and there's an odor. An there, odor. There's an aroma of kind of feces. A, he's got a sweat. Uh, yeah. And fear. Which ledge is he holding on to? The the other, the opposite Your one. Your side. From? Your oh, side. Oh, our side. Yeah. He, oh. he made it up. He only went 50 feet down as he was going to Tarzan his Are way you, in. Yeah. Is anybody else picking up on this that Copius is trying to get rid of Robert? Yeah. No, not at all. I just uh, I, I, I believe this found no. Is not going to get jerked off the, the ledge. Hey, 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 hey! hey, hey, no, no, hey. hey. Fangs there, then he will. <laughs> PG, baby. Shut PG. It. Yeah. <laughs> Robert weighs like two hundred pounds of orc meat. If he's fallen, being jerked off the ledge, I'm like going with him. Two hundred fifty. Crazy. <laughs> Episode five hundred is full of jerking off. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, yeah, baby. So just how we play. Hoggis, man, Fang. Your associate is tenuously posed on the rope on the edge of the cliff. Both of you give me perception. You gotta tell him to hurry up. There's a rat on the rope. That's what we're seeing if you notice. <laughs> it's one of those it is dark carnivorous rats, small. man. Does a 21 notice it? Oh, yeah, you see it. A 14. Uh, then I will say hurry. It. Then I will say hurry up. There's a rat on the rope. So... Uh, Haggis, do you want to help Robert, the rope. or do you want to help Man Fang hang on to the rope? Can I tell you I rolled a 24 yes. for strength? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, you're... I'll help uh, Man Fang. Okay. Uh, Robert, you feel the rope go taunt. Uh, you've got two points, uh, and you can kind of shimmy your way up. Give me just a dex roll. Those aren't my good ones. I fully anticipate you failing and landing face first, possibly chipping a tooth. Eleven. Uh, you land. Uh, and with that, a hairless rat comes running up your leg, runs out of your pants, <laughs> having ah. smelled it, uh, then jumping so around. That, that hairless rat went from a white to a brown. <laughs> yes. I'm immediately, I'm immediately going to run up copious pant leg and get this stuff off my fur. <laughs> you what do you mean fur? Leg? Off your skin. 
I just I'm rub wearing against skinny him. jeans. You can't get any my skinny leggings. Yeah, I got an image of that. Uh, Man Fang, you are holding the rope. It's still secured on the far side. You're pretty sure the rat is Leaf. Uh, all of your associates are over here. Mm, I can't be sure, though. Mm. You can't. You might want to club him. Yeah. <laughs> Just to be safe, Matt, you don't want to get the plague. You might want to get. I want to get the plague. Can you turn into a cat and eat him? <laughs> <laughs> turn to a whale. Nice. Uh, so, do you want to hang on to the rope or eh, cost of doing business? Is he is he back up yet? Or yeah, Robert. Robert. Yeah, everybody's is, over. He skinned his chin, dragging his butt onto the plateau. But you are all safely across. Okay. <laughs> No so I'm gonna to try and <laughs> I'm gonna try and whip the rope and see if I can get the python out the other side if we have it tied up. You know what? I, I just thought of something. Robert was the first one across. Yeah, he was. Oh, he grabbed the rope though to hang on. That's right. Okay, he, never mind. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, <coughs> what'd you do with the rope, man, Fang? I want to try and whip it to see if the, try see if the python just spike out. Uh, D12 against me. Okay. 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 I got a, what is that? A nine. Uh, yeah, you managed to snap the python off the other side, and you got 160 feet of rope. Perfect. Not Coil it up. Robert. Robert lays on his back. <laughs> Feels something against the back of his head. He doesn't care at this point in time. He is, it, he has reached just a, terra firma. It's a rat rubbing against him. On him, giving yeah. him war paint, <laughs> yeah. and he he don't care. Uh, I'll say that was a thirty-minute exchange. Seemed like days. Yeah, well, it seemed like Robert's entire life uh, as he flashed through. Two, four, yeah. six, right. nine, ten and a half hours into day ten. <laughs> yeah, you guys are tired. That's, we can I, still make was, some time tonight. Though. Well, yeah, if we can find a – this is still the, sort of the bridge run-up. I, I don't want to stay anywhere where we could fall off one side or the other. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Uh, if you go – where the hell's my – oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. Uh, I know exactly where we are now. Um, <laughs> you guys are going to be pissed. Um, oh. Yeah, you, you go – I'll give you an hour. Uh, without uh, problems, uh, and you find a nice plateau area. A whole uh, hour? Yeah, one of those uh, old buildings that collapsed in. Uh, you find it. There's nothing in there. Uh, the roof is not in good shape. It's kind of tucked into the side of the ravine. But this is, for all intents and purposes, a safe spot that is defensible. Well, that'd be a good place to spend the night, then. It, it does. Uh, day 11. Day 11 begins. Anew. Was that a short rest or a long rest? Long rest. If I can get my magic back. Yep. Uh, <laughs> okay. Are you ready for the good news? Yeah, oh, God. No. I'll, I'll take a D4, please. Haggis, roll it. Come on, Haggis. Good. Small number, small number. Four. Uh, four hours. So <laughs> high noon, you reach a crossroads. Uh, you can go to the left or you can go to the right. Uh, I will take insight check by somebody. My uh, insight is plus eight. I, I can't beat I that. Beat that. 24. <clears throat> Communing with nature spirits. So I am. if you took the left, that is the long way around that Sir Blowhard took. So in order to get the hell out of Dodge, you need to go right. We need you, to go right. You are almost certain of it. I'm almost certain we need to go right. You are also certain of something else. Uh -oh. I'm certain of something else. This looks damn familiar. This looks damn familiar. So, uh, 
but you don't know why. <laughs> Probably because we've been here before. Oh, yeah. You've been here before. Really? Yep. Does it look like it was on fire? Uh, nope. Oh. Is this the bridge that we broke at the uh, when we first descended? No, uh, let's. Okay, so let me figure out how to do this. So right over here is where the dragon's horde was. You guys followed this curve, and here's your bridge with the gap in it, okay? This is day three. You guys went straight and then curved around this way. <laughs> So, oh, so we just came back up. To, okay. So, yeah, cool. you guys, right. th this was day three in two. So somebody's been lying yeah. to you. Yeah. So assuming you go the same way out, it is going to take you two and a half days to get out. The plateau where you left the zonkeys is right here. Okay. okay, you yep. are up here. So as you come around, you can get your zonkeys, but it is going to take two and a half days. Yep, it's going to take us two and a half days anyway. So that puts you at day thirteen and a half. Right. It gives us nine. It takes nine days for us to get to the capital. Mounted. Mountain. So we have to get the zonkeys. It's the only way we can get to the capital. We have to hustle. Whip them zonkeys. <clears throat> you get to the spot where you left your zonkeys and chickens. I don't like the way he said that. The is chickens it, probably they, ate the zonkeys. How many zonkeys are you I'm going to need somebody to roll percentage against me. <laughs> oh, Uncle Frankie jumped on that one. What could go wrong? Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't look like the face of confidence. You're muted. You're muted. <laughs> 90. 90% 90 of the zonkeys are dead. Yes. Damn it. <laughs> what did he roll? Natural 100? What you... 27. Your zonkeys, of the donkeys are dead. your zonkeys and chickens are still there, unmolested. No extra tracks here. They but. are, they are, however, <laughs> very malnourished <laughs> because the chickens pecked the water skins, poured it out into the chasm. The zonkeys, of course, were pissed, but since you lashed them to the old building. They're still there. They are quite emaciated. You will not be able to ride them for a day. <laughs> Damn. Hey, Lee, you're a druid. Don't you, don't you like animals? What can you do here? <clears throat> I know you really like zonkeys in that special kind of way, but only albino. Maybe some dingleberries. From I like taste. Oh, yeah. Animals. Why don't you pick some dingleberries and feed them? And the, Will the zonkeys eat? Summon some dingleberries and see if the zonkeys like them. <laughs> Well, but I have a Wait. healing potion. Maybe we can pour. I I Wait. can heal the zonkeys. You can't hey. do it on command. You have to. You have Wait. to do some privacy. Yeah, Leaf the druid. Do you do you know any spells that summon water? Could you mend them? <laughs> <laughs> mend their broken hearts. The clockwork says, zonkeys. No, it says a creature can use its action to eat one berry. So yeah, I can feed it to the zonkeys, mm -hmm. but I can only make ten of these berries a day. Well, the drow and Felix don't need one. They can, they can, go, they can go without eating for a day. Well, yeah, now, now you guys do realize it, it was only like an hour or two trek to get to the exit. And you know you're about a half a day out from yeah. the exit. Yeah, and that's fine, but they need some nourishment to even start. Right. So, so yeah. I'll, I'll make the uh, dingleberries and feed them to them. Okay. Uh, Robert, get over here. Bend over. 
<coughs> oh, there ain't no dingleberries there. That is an empty storehouse. <laughs> yeah. That is like uh, colonoscopy level clean. Uh, so, do you guys want to take this half day, walk the zonkeys up and out, yes, and, and reach absolutely. daylight? Absolutely. Yes. As you do, Sophia starts feeling the ill effects because of sunset. Once the sun sets, she will be much better. Okay? So that that's yeah. that. Half hour away... Off in the distance, a few campfires are present, right about the area of the roadhouse. Do you want to go to the roadhouse tonight? We can make it to the roadhouse tonight? Yeah. Yeah, it's not very far away, but it does uh, put you in right around midnight. What if some stay here with the zombies and wait until they're better and some go to the roadhouse? We go to the roadhouse, so what's the difference? You're wa we're walking them anyways. Oh, okay. Then if let's all just go. To the <clears throat> yeah, if we can get the. I thought they were so not nourished that they won't be able to like be led to the road. No, you can't ride them. Okay, then let's lead them. Lead to the road. Okay, everybody, roll a d20 for your mount. I'll roll for Felix because Buttercup, as we all know, is uber strong and he would want yeah. me to roll or he want man fang to roll Whoa. oh i can roll i can roll for buttercup i got it <laughs> what do we have to roll for D20. Or, uh, what do we have straight to, up d20? D20. D20. Straight up d20 i got a 15. robert and haggis 12. nine robert your chicken is not doing so hot uh, Buttercup is okay. I have two chickens. Do I need to roll twice? You need to roll twice. I forgot that hey, you got hey, three Frankie. chickens. Think Tauntaun, Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's ten. Uh, that one's okay. So the worst of the lot is Robert's main mount. As you guys come to the construction site, there's something wrong. <laughs> Who wants it was to, like a race for him, Who right? wants to give me a percentage roll? Go ahead, Jason. Yeah, Copius needs to roll that. He's the one that's got oh, his... This is your nightmare anyways. Yeah. This is my nightmare. It's one of many in this scenario. 56. 56 of your construction crew have died. <laughs> what? D12 against me to see if your four lady is there. Ah! 11. Oh, yeah. 11. I rolled 11, too. Ty goes to the runner in this case. Uh, her name is... Where is it again? Oh, I have it somewhere. Harley Haley something. Oh, it's in my other he, Heine Ken. Heine, that's it. Heine, Heine Ken. Ken is among the dead. <laughs> ah! Oh, man. You know, in honor of her, you should name a beer after her. Oh, I shall. Uh, that's true. Yeah. The survivors talk to two. You, 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 Leaf. You call it Heine in. Heine in uh, brown uh, ale. I will ask the survivors uh, what's going brown on. Brown nut ale. This aberration. Oh, God. <laughs> on two legs with a giant maw attacked us four days ago. And decimated our ranks. While we still have the raw material, we are way behind because we are leaderless and have made almost no progress in putting this back together. There is also a mor there's a morale issue as well because the creature attacked over the course of three days. Last night it didn't appear... But the three previous nights it did, and it constantly dwindled down. We have sent for help. <laughs> to where? Yeah, the castle. West and east. Raglan. Raglan yeah. and Triord. I say let that little show off snot nose freaking deal with it. So there you yeah. go. You've lost 56% of your workforce. <laughs> What day is this? Uh, this is the end of day 13. 
Well, we had two different types of work. I will one being goblins and the other being to watch both ends of the camp. And everybody try to get some rest, keep torches going. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we and have a drow range. We're going to move into the middle right? of the camp where we're well protected to bed down. Wait, yeah. we have a drow ranger, right? Yes. So can we have the drow ranger look to see if the if the the remaining survivors see have tracks or have just notice tracks and see if the drow ranger can track this creature? If you want, I yeah I would, would like because this is the end of day thirteen. I, the mounters still need rest, so I'll see if the drow ranger can track. By by the roll? morning of day fourteen, there aren't going to be a hundred percent, but they're going to be good enough to ride. You, you aren't going to be sprinting, so if anything chases you, foreshadowing, <laughs> you are not <laughs> going to get away. But you should be okay. Uh, I, I will go ahead and roll for Sophia to see how she does. Ooh, with an eight, uh, that sunlight thing not accurate. <laughs> is, is uh, not helping. She's a little bit lightheaded, a little dizzy. She's more than happy to go ahead and maintain surveillance because she hasn't done shit the last four hours and you guys all had to walk too. Keep in mind, she will have to ride the chicken or double up on a zonkey. Uh, but she will go ahead, uh, pick out what's left of the 44% uh, and figure out a picket line. Uh, the camp is really crowded. They have taken all the supplies, and it looks like Fort Apache. I mean, they are... This is a Vietnam movie at this point in time. They are all dug in, and they don't know what the hell's going on. They do know that this aberration only comes out at night, and it makes this chittering noise. Uh, and it's, it, it's noticeable. It's not real loud, but it's very noticeable. So is that the plan you want to go with? Yes, I think that's we've laid it out. You know, if if <coughs> the drought if the drought can't find anything to track and they've established a perimeter already, I'm just going to tell them wake us up if something attacks. What about our taxes? What about that? Well, we can't do anything tonight because it's the night time still, right? Yes. So we have it's nine days to get. Um, uh, from Triorki to the capital, and we're at least one day out from Triorki. Three days. Ouch. Damn, three days out from Triorki. You're cutting it close, but if the numbers are right, you're okay. <laughs> if they're right. I mean, it wasn't that expensive to pay off the taxes, right? We have enough money. Price no gold, object. Nine hundred gold. gold. Leaf, Leaf is. Uh, rocking 27 gold uh, in gems and 4,000 gold in coin. He's yeah, flush, man. 70, seven, seven, and you know, you got that merman dagger, so you know, you're rocking the coin. <laughs> okay. 600. Let's see how tonight goes. You wake up the next morning, nobody woke you, but. <laughs> Help has arrived oh. in the form of Esteban Montoya, uh, leader uh, of the no. Pachyderm Corps. He has moved the military in. Uh, they trekked overnight to get here to save the Valiant construction crew. He looks at you guys and goes, oh, it is you. <laughs> I'll say, well, you know, Esteban, looks like you got this under control. See you later. I, yeah, I think. Uh, Not so fast, my friends. His most diplomatic well, self. Yeah, how fast, my friends. Smarmy, <laughs> smarmy response from Copius about how grateful he is that the brave Generalissimo is here and can help the poor workers defend against this creature. This, uh, I was under the impression that you took possession of this property and we're going to rebuild. It does not, uh, appear to have been that way. <laughs> well, uh, Copius is going to point out all the building materials and say, we've 
we have a substantial investment already sunk into this building, but a creature has been attacking and decimating our workforce while we were out <coughs> uh, making arrangements. Would this creature the, be an know, aberration with large teeth uh, striping like your uh, mounts? Oh, I, I don't think it looks That's anything no like our mount. We don't even know what it looks like. Yeah. I I will not roll for perception because I know most of you are telling the truth on that <laughs> one. <laughs> uh, I saw it. I saw it. Uh, Generalissimo, uh, please indulge me. Uh, this is a wide, vast area. We have been tracking this creature for several days already. Uh, it actually attacked Triorki. Uh, that is why we were not that far away. We will need your skillful assistance to help us out for the next day or two or three to hunt down this hey, creature. Hey, hey. We are yeah, well, the capital and we must leave now. You need wait, to... wait, 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 wait. Wait, let me ask a question. So, General, the creature's mate is heading towards Triorki? Uh, it attacked Triorki six days ago. Oh, that sounds familiar. And I, we believe it attacked it... Uh, 15 days ago, or 17 days ago as well. What direction oh. What direction is the capital? Uh, south. Well, General, you check, you go north and west, and we'll check to the south and see if we come across it. Due south? No, south. We're going to head towards Triorki south. Well, that's where we came from. You don't need to check that area. We've already well, checked. Well, um, it might have gone back. You don't know. It well, doubled back. We have a yeah. skilled ranger with us, and I'm going to point to the drow who's covering her head, going, "No, the sun, the sun." Yeah, she's she's not going to be thrilled. Uh, he's not going to be thrilled. Uh, he points out that he will go with you because the forces from Raglan Tower are coming from the west, and they will be here later this afternoon. Hmm. Who leads? Who leads that force from Raglan Tower? Uh, Joff well, I think Joffrey Captain Simpson. from the Lady Jane now. <laughs> yeah, Joffrey Simpson was the last known commander. Homer is Simpson. Yellow? Is he yellow? <laughs> yes, Homer he Simpson. Donuts. Donuts. <laughs> you guys will notice that the Pachyderm Corps does not have their elephants with them today. Hmm. Oh, Lord. General, you know can't help they but notice there are no elephants. They are not. They are uh, stationed at Triorki. Oh. How many men does the general have with him? Right now, 200. He don't need us. No, yeah, Lord, right. no, he doesn't need us. He doesn't, he doesn't need I'll you. take two on the left. You take the uh, 500 or he the doesn't, 100 he knows. on the right. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take Copius aside and whisper to him. Okay. You know, Copius, he doesn't need us. He knows he doesn't need us. The way he's eyeing us, he wants your, he wants your tavern. He wants your tavern. He knows you've got to get back to pay your taxes or you're going to lose your tavern. He wants it. Now, would That's the why man he's trying who stole the valor you. of killing the Red Dragon do that? Damn right he would. <laughs> he's yeah. a bigger shyster than Copius is. Is that possible? Well, no, what, barely. no offense. <laughs> <laughs> no offense. None taken. So uh, Copius wants to see, pull the general aside, if he will, so we can talk about the situation. Oh, sure. He's more than happy to talk. Talk to an old friend. Talk to an old friend. Uh, and Copius is going to subtly remind the general of our previous encounter without saying anything specific, how grateful we were when the general arrived and rescued us from that red dragon and his bravery, how we promised the general his own place of honor anytime he stayed at the tavern, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Sure. And then <clears throat> Copius is going to suggest, you know, General, what we really need to finish this project off, because our our local foreman ha was killed by this beast. So we are very interested in, in, in enacting revenge against the creature that's doing this. There's no question. How much greater will it be if the General can kill that creature, just like he did the dragon, and add to his renown, and 
as part of that, if the general had this wonderful establishment, he became part of the ownership team of this establishment, a senior member of the ownership as part of, as, as a thank you for killing the creature. I feel a hostile corporate takeover coming. I like that. I like that idea. I like how you think. Yeah. For 55% <laughs> stake in the tavern. Mm -hmm. I will agree. I think, uh, I think uh, we can agree to that. I think we can arrange it. I, uh, that's I fifty-five percent of your share, Copius. Wait, wait, no, wait, 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 wait! Just this, uh, this is out of character. I said fifty-five percent of tavern. Yes. The roadhouse is split off into multiple subsections. It is. And the tavern's probably the least profitable of the sections we're talking about. Yeah, that's was a good point. Percent of it, possibly. And he, and he's he is well aware of that, but he knows his men are thirsty bastards. So. And he, so, he himself is a family man. He does not uh, wish any part of the uh, human sexploitation that is Haggis von Krapstein. That's 55% <laughs> after paid. That's, you yeah, know, after... Net, net revenue. Net. After net revenue, yes. Mm, persuade me, Copious. 54. Because he's thinking gross. Yeah, No. Yeah, he's pretty damn gross, all right. 24. <laughs> Whoo, that 20. Damn it! Uh, how about this? If he if he's balking on that, hey, and he's saying, well, no, no, I need gross, 55% of gross. Why? How about 55% uh, after we pay supply costs. Now, in other words, not wages or upkeep of the tavern, but the supply costs. <clears throat> you can tell him doing the math in his head, but you also notice he doesn't look right. Um, give me an insight check. Oh, God, this is amazing. Uh, insight's not my best, but oh, hey, 19. He's bluffing. He can't do math. <laughs> I will accept that. <laughs> now, I will draft the contract. A shocker. <laughs> Give him the contract, granting 55% after supply fees have been paid. You guys all realize who's supplying this roadhouse, right? It's the Vol Bitters Brewery. <laughs> oh, I know. I, you know there's never any doubt about that. That's why I'm sitting here laughing at you. <laughs> okay. Uh, and tavern uh, only. Tavern only. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me. He's going to recoup whatever you're getting out of his share of this. Yeah. Uh, Esteban's second roll was not very good at all. So while Thank he did God. get the natural 20 on Copius's bullshit... His math skills were not there. So he, I know there, he's getting a little bit rooked. He doesn't know that. So he's happy with that. So he says, write it up. I will sign it uh, tomorrow. No, today. Oh, God. Today. <laughs> I will sign it tomorrow because today I must go out and hunt. And I, is there any chance we can convince him that in order for this tavern to be, we have to get to the capital? Can he facilitate getting us to the capital? Uh, they, no, he would not have any means. The pachyderm is not the fastest creature. But is he going to hold us here? No, he'll just sign the contract tomorrow. And he wants you to countersign it. Oh, so we just need copious to stay at the tavern, right? Yeah, that's pretty much. Yeah, that's true. You guys can leave today, and I'll do my best to catch up tomorrow. All right, we'll do that. Uh, unless he's eaten by the aberration. Hey, shit happens, <laughs> man. You guys, coat and hat. Think about it. Copious. Do you want to leave Sophia and Felix with you, or send them packing? Uh, before we do anything, copious, uh, write something up saying if the aberration eats your ass, that we get your shares. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> we can Don't worry. Show. We can draft an addendum later and just add it to it. Yeah, I, I oh, think yeah. Uh, Felix is a skilled forger, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Well, that's okay. if he wants to play with us after he finds that white zonkey all mutilated. So do you want to take the other two or leave them <laughs> with you? I need to get going because my mounts don't move as fast as y'all's. Correct. Yeah. I, I have Well, if Copious so didn't go on with us, you might as well ride his. Oh, hell no. Um, <laughs> I saw that one coming. <laughs> yeah. No, you leave, leave Felix with Copious. Because we both have zonkeys, and you go ahead and take the drow because she's riding the other chicken, and you guys head out. There's a chance we'll catch up to you if, if our mounts get another day of rest. That's just it, though. I believe Manfang had the other chicken. He does. Yeah, me and Leaf are the only two zonkeys, and you both had two chickens. Oh, three. Well, he got three. He is the chicken. Oh, I, the chicken I was letting somebody part. ride my zonkey, and I was just turning into a horse and running along yeah, with you. Take take the drow with you so that we, Felix and I can ride light on the two remaining zonkeys, and we'll catch up with you. All right. We'll do that. Uh, the Generalissimo asks, uh, what are you going to do with that third chicken? You ain't eating it. Mm. And bait. My men are hungry, and uh, it might be useful to uh, perhaps entice this aberration so that we may kill it. Robert. Oh, my God. Well, that's that's the point, you see. <laughs> I, am, I am merely trying to do you a favor. I am working together. We are partners. We are Here's friends. <laughs> Robert, Robert, do you want to stake out one of your chickens and try to kill this aberration tonight, or do you want to take off? I gotta take off. Yeah, he, if I stay, he if I stay it, we're not gonna because my chickens move about half the speed y'all's do. Mm -hmm. so Especially I gotta get extra weight tonight. with the the fat ass man fang. We're vegan bully, huh? huh? Listen, <laughs> look at the rest. Just remember the shape of a T Rex. <laughs> Nobody ever called a T Rex fat to its face twice. Not in lived. Although you can't touch your toes, we're just. I can touch him just fine. Watch me. No, I'm going to lay prove down it. and hold his leg back. <laughs> Generalissimo would be much appreciative if you left one of the chickens. Won't you? I got no I'll idea. Won't you just stake out one of your, your men? Not appreciation very well just yet for one of my fine. These are my fighting mounts. You have three. You only need I, two. Yeah, point. Actually, he needs one. Actually, three he minus needs three. Because the drow needs one, too. I well, use every not, mount. Not if you're going to turn into a war horse. Well, he doesn't know that. I can only run for, like, what, half my thing, so that's like three hours. The Generalissimo does not care. <laughs> well, and I don't really I care don't about him. Care. Well, you give him some dingleberries. You can go to Triorki and get another pony. Oh, you're going to give me the money for the pony? You are rich adventurers, are you not? Uh, you're rich general, are you not? I am a lowly civilian paid employee. Yeah, well, <laughs> at least you're paid. And you just took a, a portion of ownership of this uh, establishment, if I'm not mistaken. And the civil servants in this country are shysters. <laughs> oh, hold on. You mean hot, like hot, civil hot. servants. <laughs> No offense to our friends in the civil service who may watch the show. Uh, for those of you in the IRS, Jason's <laughs> home address. <laughs> I, I can't. You're, there's nothing you're saying right now that makes that says I'm going to part with the mount. I got to use my mounts. Okay. We will do our best to secure your uh, holdings here. Oh, you're gonna half ass. It's so hard. Good luck, Copious. <laughs> We're all counting copious. on you. We're counting on you. <laughs> Felix is still gonna be mad about the merman dagger. You guys are deserving <laughs> me, but I want you. So day fourteen, everybody but Copious and Felix leaves. Right? Yep. Split the party. Bombadia, bombadia. 
Uh, day 17. Uh, middle Frank, give me a D12, please. D12. Wait, what day did you say? Little Frank, D12. No, I what rolled day day six. Day six. 14 is what he said. 14. Day 14. Day 17, yeah. six hours in, Robert, Manfang, Haggis, Sophia, and Leaf arrive at Triorki. I assume you're taking the safest possible route. Absolutely. The fastest route, that's the safest. Actually, the fastest route is not the safest. Would you like to go the fastest route? <laughs> that's why I said the fastest route that is the safest. There you go. Uh, on your travels, you were passing essentially refugees. This aberration has been attacking essentially the county. <laughs> uh, it goes in, it hit and runs in the middle of the night. Everybody is hearing this chittering noise uh, and then nothing but teeth. Uh, I don't know why, for some reason I just feel so proud. <laughs> Everybody has lost loved ones. Um, People coming in that you pass from the far east uh, have heard, and you are passing adventurers, henchmen, men at arms, and one mousy looking dude who stops you and asks a question Where may I find the destroyed roadhouse? Uh oh never heard of this story. why do you ask i myself and he's a dwarf my name is rox de house i am a bard of lore and i wish to see this location because i am now chronicling uh the union boys great conquest of a worm's horde so I uh, have set out on my own to find this location so that I may sketch it out for a novel that I am writing on the great exploits of the Union Boys. Oh, are the Union Boys going to be there? No, the Union Boys are actually... <laughs> just to screw with you guys... In, Rex no. in Wrexham. <laughs> well, we're not going that way, so it don't matter. Yeah, I know it's a distraction. <laughs> what? Trying to distract us. I, I'm merely stating <sighs> the fact that if you guys wanted to find the Union boys, <laughs> hey, no. you know where they're at. Not yet. You know, it's only like a day out of your way. Oh, yeah. One day <laughs> here, one day there. Nope. That's, that roadhouse is, that was destroyed, it's somewhere up north. Huh. Well, can you give me better directions than... Nope. Robert, Robert, just tell him the, the the Union boys are liars, and then show him that you 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 have the red scales to prove you were the one that found the treasure hoard. You mean the dragon scales like these? Yeah, how did you get those? Because not only are we the slayer, I mean, not only did we find the hoard. You slayed this dragon. No. Uh. <laughs> no, that was the El General. General Isimo. Esteban. Esteban, that's it. Yeah, Esteban. Oh, I no, he plays guitar. He's the one with the, the, crap. the elephants. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. He likes them elephants. Oh. He's got a pack of packies. But you, you helped the Union boys with this? No, no. We're the ones that did it. Union Boy just took the credit. Ah. So, you yourself have magical items as they do? No, Maybe. you just keep, keep piling it on there, don't you? <laughs> well, you Pile didn't think they took on. the 25% of copper coins, did you? <laughs> Hell now. They are they are well healed. Uh, they have 
they have discovered powerful magic. I'm curious, what powerful magic did uh, your group uh, ascertain when you were in cahoots with the Union boys? Well, well won't you tell, right so tell Sister we what cahoots. powerful magic did your father <laughs> use to uh, beget you? A spell of ugliness? My father is dead, thank you. <laughs> I can see why. Yeah. Probably sure. saw you when you day you were born and said, oh, my God, I can't believe I did that. You know what? If this is high <laughs> enough, I'm going to screw with you. All right. My wee lad, Gimli. <laughs> <laughs> he, nope. Uh, he, he's not going to mention that you look like the reputed uh, aberration. <laughs> he does not know that. So he, he again my asks, uh, not Leaf, but the others, uh, out of curiosity, what kind of powerful magics did uh, you guys retrieve from this dragon horde? What magic we have found is none of your business. I, I, I am merely, I am merely a vessel to carry knowledge to people. And you know what? I can, I kind can of make, like a chamber pot. I can make you famous. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see how beautiful I am? I'll be That's your the whole magic I got. You know. Uh, in, in one of my novels, uh, I have even written a song uh, telling the tales of heroes. It's very catchy. <laughs> you know what song it is? Your song. In the <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's hear that song, dwarf. Play here that comes song. the king. Here comes the big <laughs> Yank it away. Uh, so what do you want to do with this little uh, dwarf? Nothing. Okay. Head north. What I say? South. Yeah, south. Somewhere there. we got to be. How many How many days is it yet to the capital? It's nine days from Triorki. We got to go. Six, six days from Triorki to capital, I thought. Is it six? Six. Was, Three days was, from the roadhouse to Triorki. And well, six see, I got, I got the mark here on day 20 to day 27. So that's why I'm thinking it's eight. So, because this would be Triorki getting there, and this would be getting there. So, yeah, you guys, you guys still have a day. You got a, a, a whole day of padding. You, you build it in nicely. You got a whole day Good. of padding. We're, we might need that if we run into something on the road. What? So let's get a night's rest and a, and then we'll get re get back on the road in the morning. Is it nighttime now? Yes. Okay. Uh, the dwarf is staying here since you guys were unappreciative of his life's work, uh, and he's going to spend the night and he's going to go drink with the pachyderm core. Meanwhile, day fourteen, leaving Copious behind. Uh, Copious. Uh, Generalissimo knows that this creature only comes out at night, so he and his men are bunking down. They're going to go out tonight and hunt this thing. Uh, the workers look to you and Felix. What do you want us to do, boss? Is it nighttime or daytime, then? Is it uh, it's daytime? daytime. But it's... Is, is it the Early. first day after that the rest of the group left? Uh, group leaves on day 14. So they left in the morning. Okay. So this is the morning of the day they left. Yes. Correct. Okay. I, I got confused on our, our day. Uh, yeah. When right. we, when we split it up, like when I split it up like that, it does get confusing, but yes, when the day they leave <clears throat> is the day the generalissimo bunks his troops down. Cause they're going to be out all night hunting snipe. These guys carry on. They make a triorchy. No problems as of yet. So day 15 is when I have the paperwork for the general to sign? Correct. Okay. So you have a whole so, day of dicking around. I'm going to try to uh, <laughs> gather all the workers together, give them an inspiring speech. In fact, I may even use the fake presence to try to uh, cause them to really uh, have to make a saving throw or become charmed. I'll give you two saving throws, one for half. Or one for each half. DC 15. Nope. They are under your thrall. I'm going to tell them this project is going to happen. It's going to be the greatest, most beautiful roadhouse the world's ever seen. The biggest, the best roadhouse. Real Magdalene crap here stuff going on. 
Sure. It's the best, greatest thing ever built. Uh, <clears throat> and then I'm going to try to find out who's the most knowledgeable among them that can help, uh, who was leading the work crews on the different pieces and try to get them moving. That's what I was waiting to hear. You have five candidates. Okay. Five. Give me an insight roll on each one. Well, the first insight roll was 10. Okay. Next one is 19. Next one is 20. Next one is 20. Next one is 10. And those were dirty 20s. <clears throat> Let's see which one's the smartest one. Number three, goblin female. Okay. She impressed you the most. Uh, she she's she she looks like a half breed, not full blooded, so she's oh, not mean and little nasty. Little. She takes care of herself. She seems to have a good head on her shoulders. She's not very strong, uh, but to you, with your dirty 20, <clears throat> you think that She-Ra has what it takes to be the person uh, to, lead this, to lead this charge. So <clears throat> She-Ra, Princess of Power, is the smartest, most capable of the group. Yep, and she's a goblin. I got goblin team, okay. But she's got a 13 charisma, so still butt ugly, but she can go ahead and handle herself. Uh, 13's not bad. That's no, still no, higher no. than, you know, <clears throat> some of the members of my party. Yeah. Can she the, speak English? The fat ones. Athlete? Yes, she speaks common. That That's why he, he was convinced uh, that two, three, and four were the most capable. We're settling on three. Uh, you're, you're three or four. Uh, three seems to be the winner. All right. Well, let's let's have a conversation with her. The others are still there, though. Oh yeah. Slee Stack is number four. He is a halfling. Halfling male. Mm -hmm. You know you can't trust him. Uh, Shira is the goblin female. I'm, I'm going to talk to the, the group and, and uh, ask him some questions, make them feel puffed up and respond accordingly, because since they're under my thrall anyways, make them really seem like I really depend on them. And then uh, say, so I, I, I'm going to appoint She-Ra to be the new foreman, mm -hmm. but I'm going to ask each of the members specifically if they can follow her direction and her lead in my absence. D12 against me for number two. Eight. Seven. Uh, yeah, I suppose I can. And number four. Eight again. One. Oh, yeah, I like her. I like her a lot. I like her an abnormal amount. <laughs> okay. So Slee Stack and She-Ra. Power couple. Power couple. And you felt good about both of them. All right. So you can make one the leader or co-leader. I'm going to make, uh, I'm going to say that her number two is Slee Stack. Fair enough. That's not going to make number two happy, but. That's number two sounds like he may have problems. Yeah, he does. He's got issues. He's got mama issues. <laughs> So, night falls. The military branches out. Uh, the Generalissimo says, get me that paper tomorrow. And he heads out. D12 against me, Copius. Totally going to have that creature attack. Well, Four. They don't find it. Not a surprise. Because it's down in Triorki, following its daddy. <laughs> uh, morning of the 15th. Do you have my paperwork? Absolutely. He's going to pull out a, from his magic scroll case. He's going he's gonna to pull out a contract. It's like six feet long when it unrolls. Size eight print. P there's a big part. 
<clears throat> yeah, probably twist it right in the middle. It's going to say 55% <clears throat> generalissimo, uh, you know, net of all supplier costs. He will call his second in command over to look over the paperwork. Roll a D4. Uh, uh, two. Noting the questionable business tactics of some unscrupulous individuals, uh, the second in command looks it over for two hours and comes to the conclusion. Looks good. Generalissimo signs off on it, says he is going to spend two more days here trying to hunt down this creature and wishes you well. Uh, uh, Copius will uh, shake the Generalissimo's hand, say it's a pleasure doing business with you, General. I'm sure everyone is well protected and safe under your guidance. Felix is tapping his watch. <laughs> we're out of here. Day 15, 10 o'clock. Felix would be eyeing the new goblin foreman. Oh, he's already hit that, I'm sure. <laughs> 10 a.m., you leave. <clears throat> How fast are you going to go? A uh, little faster than normal if the animals look like they can take it. The animals have recovered fully. For some okay, reason, yes. this uh, abomination doesn't attack supplies, just likes fresh meat. Go oh, figure. <clears throat> so, give me... Uh, give me a D6 roll. One. On day 18, you pull into Triorki and find out that your associates left that morning. So you're only a few hours behind them. Uh, you also meet uh, the individual who's decided to stay here, introducing himself as the Dwarven Bard rocks the house. And he wonders if he might have a moment of your time. He inquires to you and mostly Felix, because Buttercup's unusual status, where you were able to obtain such wonderful mounts. Does Felix respond? Uh, Felix will tell him to piss off, don't touch Buttercup or I'll kill you. Because oh. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that is what we would all expect from Felix. Copius will stand up on the saddle of his mount and begin to regale the bard of the amazing adventure that he and his partner Felix had in the mountains of wherever it was, where we rescued, yeah. rescued the uh, townsfolk uh, and discovered the tragedy that befell the town and blah, 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 blah. It will, it will go on for some time as you know it would. Because Copies can't help himself, right? And as, and you know he'll embellish his role, of course, and diminish everyone else's role, and we'll end by giving a few gold to the bard to say here for your trouble and for your fine attention, and be sure to speak well of me. And by the way, have you heard of Bull Bitters? Because here's some information on the Bull Bitters brand. Yeah. Oh, he's heard of you, <laughs> and, and and he was buying what you're selling. So he's thrilled. Uh, he asks if you know the guys yesterday had the same kind of mounts. Uh, I don't. I don't know. For, I don't know. I've been. I've They're been, all uh, giant chickens. <laughs> giant chickens. It sounds maybe familiar. I think they may be part of that adventuring party that was hunting for the gold. Well, they said they found it. Really interesting. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So they're part of the Union boys. 
No, uh, I, I, I had to go seen, there, didn't you? I have spoken with the union boys, and, and they claimed, <laughs> and they had a lot of magic with them, saying that they found the horde. Uh, the others on these uh, strange creatures and the giant chickens uh, were kind of rude. There was one in particular who was kind of an ass. No, wait a minute. They were all kind of asses. <laughs> <laughs> It makes me feel better that yeah. I recognize yeah. it. And one of them had a big ass. <laughs> one, one of them was fat. <laughs> Don't worry, Frankie. I'll... That's for you, buddy. Hey, just remember, oh, there's there been go. a lot of jerking off going on. Uh, so, yeah, he's, he, he asks uh, what role you played in the demise of the dragon. Because the, oh. the, others, the others said it was the Generalissimo. That uh, I, the General Isimo definitely had a role and and uh, and has told everyone about his amazing adventure. I have that written down in my journal. Oh, you know, excellent! Yeah, I think the General Isimo is up the road there. If you want to interview him directly, would he be at this roadhouse? Uh, the roadhouse was destroyed. I understand. But but Kofi's can't help himself. Self promotion. It is being rebuilt. He's like Barnum and Bailey, or, or T. Barnum. He's it's going to be greater than ever. You're like a used car salesman. <laughs> he's, he's greatest thing on the lot. Greatest thing on the lot. Well, I, he he's been trying to figure out how to get there and uh, asks if you could give him some safe escort. Yes, absolutely. Just follow the road. <laughs> well, I was wondering if you could come with me. Oh no no no! I am due in the capital. I've got an appointment. I cannot miss in the capital. Very important people are expected well, to see me. Investors in the the roadhouse well, to make it, it the greatest see, roadhouse the, ever. The, the problem is the the, the union boys are going to take me up there, but they aren't going to be here till tomorrow morning. <laughs> So, I, you know, if you could get me there earlier, I wouldn't have to wait for him. <laughs> what day is it? <laughs> uh, it is day 18. Uh, it's nine days from Triorki, is now what we're saying? Uh, oh. It's uh, nine days from Triorki. Oh, you said oh. it was eight days a minute ago. Eight days, I'm sorry. 20 to 27. Eight days. I... I Nope, copious, copious <laughs> needs the money going to the, the thing. He can't afford to. Of course, I do have the rest of the party is already on their way to pay the bill. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny that you think that. <laughs> uh, I think Felix, Felix and I have too much invested in the roadhouse to get to stay. We're, yeah, we're on they, the uh, they, they, uh, The union boys, they're just, they're just troublesome gamblers. They... You know, oh my god, you thirsty. So here's there's some big poker tournament in Wrexham. <laughs> I you know I I literally just heard uh, AJ's finger squeeze off that one. From here. We're gonna shove like some coal in there. Alright, here's what here's what we're gonna do. Felix on behalf of Felix, Kopi's is gonna say, hey, when the when the proud boy, or the problem union boys, boys <laughs> show up, they show up. Tell them that if they stay at the if they stay at the side of the roadhouse or stay in Triorki until I return, and I'm going to put Felix and I return as co-owners with our partner who's already on the road. Return to the roadhouse. We will buy them a free round of drinks uh, while they regale us their tale of what they did for the dragon. Didn't you say it was broken down and is in the process of rebuilding? We've got some tents set up. Mm. You know there's a beer wagon there. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll make pass, it worth I'll, his I'll, while. I'll pass along the information. And I will make it worth the, the dwarf's while. I'll slip him a couple more gold on that one. Yeah, he appreciates that. So that's fair. You got a bunk here for the night? Or run the risk no, if of. If we think we're close, if we're not that far behind uh, the others, uh, I think Felix and I would probably push through, even though I risk being tired. Nicholas, roll a d6. See how far ahead you guys are. Great. This will be the time he rolls a six. Five. 
They're five hours ahead of you. Son of a gun. Because those damn chickens are so slow. <clears throat> yeah, I think we'd probably push, and then if we if we don't catch up to them within a couple hours, which we would, we go ahead and camp at that point. Sure. Uh, Robert, Leaf, Haggis, Manfang, uh, you guys are plodding ahead, making your way towards Triorki, seeing a lot of people back and forth, a lot of merchant types, da 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 the capital, you mean? Towards the capital. Uh, you are on day 18, same Eight. date that Jason and Felix arrive in Triorki, you are five mm-hmm. hours ahead, okay. uh, and you notice... Traffic on this road is almost non-existent. After all the days you've traveled, this is the most boring day. Mm. And as you round a corner, oh. there's some, uh, shall we say, that. unscrupulous individuals ahead. Uh, and there's a felled tree here. And they're going to ask you for assistance next week. <laughs> oh, we see it up ahead. Oh, we'll just stop for a minute. I said, you guys see that? How many are, How many do people do we see? <coughs> Only one. <laughs> but you see all these little red dots and fairy lights. They're tracking across your chest. Looks like a road gang. We need to get around this. <clears throat> but we will worry about that next week. So yeah. uh, this is the end of the 500th episode. Little Frankie, what'd you think? I thought I had an awful time. Everybody thought I was fat. <laughs> this is disgusting. How much did you What are you weigh? people? I think he weighs almost two pounds. <laughs> I, uh, no, 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 don't count on that. Don't count on that. Let me, let me. Well, no, you weren't that heavy. Take away that bag of chips. Uh, <laughs> where do I check how much I weigh? Or stuff like it, that. It doesn't matter, Frank. You're, <laughs> you're, you're the, you're the heaviest. I, shut shut the up. <laughs> hey, he's not hey, heavy. Shut up, man. Shorty. He's my lizard. <laughs> nice. No, I caught that one. Uh, middle Frank, what'd you think? <laughs> I thought it was a good time, other than all the distractions that were laid before us, like what? like like an evil siren, a temptress, a succubus of of other excitements to lead us astray from the main mission. That's all I know that was happening here. I th- I think that is uh, accurate. <laughs> <laughs> I will give you points for that. It's just sad that Earthful, Felix was accurate. not here to hear about the big poker tournament going oh, on. Yeah. Uh, Nick, what'd you think? I had a good time. I gotta say, that was a pretty fun one. Okay. Well, I, every once in a while, I get it right. <laughs> Not a whole lot, but I get it right once in a while. Can't wait for next week. Uh, Jason, what'd you think? I felt like one of those adventure movies where all the companions get peeled away. I'm surprised we held the cohesion of the group for as long as we did. To be fair, Sophia and Felix were absent. Had they been yep. here... That might have, Felix especially, might have turned out slightly differently. <laughs> yeah, Rexon. He could, would have been, I'm surprised you didn't just roll for him to see if he went to Rexon. Thought well, about it. He, uh, what did he do the last time he and was, I, I, I got to correct you on something. You said he was on Buttercup. Buttercup was lost. Remember, we didn't find him when we went back to the, oh, wait, we got it away from that damn halfling, didn't we? Yes. I forgot about her. Who okay. Is, who is now dead. Yes. Yeah, I forgot. I, you'd think I'd remember the ones we killed. Well, the there's so, many. There's so many of them. The aberration killed her. Well, we didn't kind of, kill them. Yeah. You got, your hands are, I'll say, moist. <laughs> yeah, I go say, Damn. green. Yeah. No. Uh, did you have fun, though, Frank Sr.? Oh, I had a ball. There you I go. had a ball. I, I just, uh, you put so many, you got to dangle so many lures out there, don't you? I'm just giving you options. Yeah, you give us options. Uh, you you know, know how to play to the weak wills of some of this bunch. You know, it's just, I, I don't want you guys to feel you're being railroaded. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, no. I, you know, you don't have to buy this roadhouse. You guys are now independently wealthy. I mean, the Generalissimo oh. is probably going to be a really strong business partner. 
I think the only three I names on it. the roadhouse is Copious and Hospital Robert and takeover. Felix. That is correct until yep. we sell it in the capital. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Who said we're keeping the road out? We're selling that sucker. <laughs> Along with I, a lot of real estate on the coast. <laughs> I still have the property to sell from the coast. Yet. Yeah. Folks, this has been Murder Hobo so, Inc. The Margu Campaign. Thanks 500. for joining us. Fifth, 500th episode. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, &D, join our Discord. If you want to buy our cool crap, sure, phone case, throw pillow, shower curtain. The link is down there. Uh, if you're in the mood for new math rocks, run on over to Twitter at Pirate Dog Dice. If you want something to spark up the smell of your game, oddfishgames.com has adventure sets, <clears throat> over 60 of them. Uh, check them out. They will also be at Gen Con this year. Uh, and if you ever want to be on the show, one shot or the talk show on Tuesdays, M Hobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail, hit us up and let us know. We will get you moved on there and you can have some fun next Saturday. Open one shot. So, uh, you know, if you're a hankering or if you're a forever DM, hit us up, let us know. Folks, uh, we hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. Let's give them the old big dating game kiss and wave and get out of here. Mwah! Bye, everybody. <gasps> you are muted.